it's your neighborhood baby hedgehog here. I'm not a wild hedgehog or anything. I mean, I live in a home with humans. I don't know why I said I was your neighborhood baby hedgehog. I don't know why I'm not Insta-famous either, but I guess they're too lazy to set an account up. I love Instagram. I love looking at all the pictures of brunch and people's faces, but only at their most attractive, and the same 10 graffiti walls in everyone's hometown. And I love inspirational posts. You know, like, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, or even simple ones like live, laugh, love. Is that one inspirational? I'm not sure, but it makes me feel happy inside. And the great thing is that we've actually had presidents who have said some really profound things. I mean, things that just hit you in the gut, like ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country, or even a house divided against itself cannot stand. I mean, quotes where you know that the person who said them was just way smarter than you could ever hope to be. And like now, what are our presidential quotes going to be? Seriously, just imagine the Trump quotes that we know and then think about that being the lasting thought of this time period. Do you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a bunch of tweets from three in the morning and then stuff like, all of the women on The Apprentice flirted with me, consciously or unconsciously, that's to be expected. Uh, what? Or when he said, I've said if Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. I mean, that just feels presidential, right? Remember when George W. Bush talked about how hot his daughters were and how he wanted to f them? No? Oh, that's right, because that never happened. Trump says the kind of stuff that you expect to hear from your dad's creepy friend or your own creepy uncle, but not from a president. Or at least not from a president in an actual recording. I mean, at least have the decency to not say terrible things on record or via tweets that we can see with our own eyes. But of course we're going to be known as the country who heard a presidential nominee say one of the most vile things I've ever heard a human say and then elected him. So here you go. Cross stitch this on a pillow and mail it to me at your neighborhood baby hedgehog because I'm done. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Grab them by the p You can do anything. <sighs> you know what? I, I, I guess inspirational quotes are bullshit.